It is such an honor to welcome Governor Gavin Newsom to Oakland on the 30th anniversary of the Loma Prieta earthquake. Now, I have just come from remembering those who lost their lives 30 years ago, most of whom were in Oakland in the Cypress freeway collapse. I will never forget myself coming home that night to my apartment where every single window was shattered and there was a crack in my wall so large I could see Lake Merritt through it. And as the horror dawned that so many people had lost their lives, that so much damage was done to this Bay Area, it was a sobering experience. And yet, we saw how Oakland came together. Today, I am so thrilled to be here as the backdrop to this announcement that will help all Californians be safer. Seconds save lives. Early warning can allow people incredible opportunity to prepare, to cover their heads with the pillows, to duck and roll, to avoid more catastrophic loss like was experienced 30 years ago. And it is a supreme pleasure to introduce leadership in California that is investing in this type of preventive technology before the next big one happens. All of California is safer today because of this incredible groundbreaking announcement. And so with that, it is my pleasure to introduce to you a governor who has demonstrated a bold vision and a willingness to invest in prevention so that we do not have as much tragedy and destruction to deal with after the next big one that we know is inevitable. Governor Gavin Newsom. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor, for – I've never been on this, this uh, remarkably new construction. This is fabulous. And by the way, for all those folks that only watch, I say this lovingly and respectfully, I'm one of them, but not only watch Fox News. That's not the picture you get of San Francisco every night on your television screen. I just want to remind people what a spectacular place this is, the San Francisco Bay Area, the Oakland Bay Area, the San Jose Bay Area, how vibrant it is and how remarkable uh, – how remarkably well this region is doing. And it is appropriate that we are here in this region on this day, an anniversary, 30 years uh, from the Loma Prieta earthquake. Uh, like Mayor Schaff, uh, I, among many – many that are assembled here today, uh, was in my apartment about to walk out a little late to watch the World Series at a friend's house at 15 Rico Way in the Marina District uh, when all of a sudden I felt the shaking and the old chandelier going back and forth. I naively, at the time, I think they told you to go under the door. Now they say drop, cover, hold, but at the time it was going to the door and I remember going back and forth and hearing car alarms in the day go off and walked outside and didn't know what the heck would happen. I thought the sewage systems had all burst. It was that thing we learned afterwards called liquefaction that was coming up, something people had predicted but they had never seen in the scale and scope. Just a block and a half away where those – was that iconic building, lives were lost, that had collapsed, um, that corner building in the Marina District, and everybody was assembled to help out. It was a moment of pride and spirit not just tragedy, to see neighbors, uh, folks uh, from all walks of life coming together uh, to help one another. And I say that uh, in that spirit of resilience, the spirit that defines the best uh, of this region, finds the best of a city, San Francisco, that was ravaged by not just the 89 earthquake but the 1906 earthquake that remind folks the, uh, the flag, the icon on the flag of San Francisco is the phoenix phoenix rising from the ashes of the earthquake. And so we are cognizant of not only this moment as we reflect on history and our past, but we look to the future. Uh, a few years back, a lot of you ran with headlines saying that experts had put out a prediction, 99.7 percent chance within the next 30 years, 99.7 percent chance within the next 30 years. Uh, we would experience an earthquake greater than 6.7. That was a rather jaw-dropping prediction, particularly from experts that are cautious in making those types of predictions. Uh, that's the reality we live in. There's 
a reason we experience and enjoy such beauty, uh, and that's Mother Nature, uh, with all her glory, but at times her fury. So the price of admission to live here is preparation. That price is paid often by neglect, lack of preparation, lack of intentionality as it relates to making sure that we are prepared to support one another, our families, ourselves, in a time of crisis. Today, uh, we are making a big leap forward in terms of focusing attention on prevention. Uh, we are announcing the nation's uh, first comprehensive early alert system for earthquakes. We're announcing the ability for millions and millions of Californians to download an app, MyShake. Download the app, MyShake. Millions of people do that. We will have points of contact, the ability to crowdsource information, the likes of which no country in the world has advanced. I say that knowingly, that Japan and Mexico have systems already in place in this space. But because of the extraordinary uh, complementary work that was done by UC Berkeley, by Caltech, by USGS, uh, and by our own Office of Emergency Service, we feel we are on the leading and cutting edge in terms of the ability to utilize this technology. But it is only as good as you. You download that app. We now have another point of contact. And we are now all part of this remarkable capacity to iterate, to experiment, to advance science in real time to make us all more safe. And so I just cannot impress upon folks more the importance of going to the App Store, whatever their device may be, downloading MyShake uh, and reading the instructions and encouraging friends and family to do the same. This is about 10 seconds. It's about 15 seconds. This could be as much as 20 seconds of early warning. In 20 seconds, that's a, not an insignificant amount of time to make sure we shut down or slow down the BART, make sure we slow down or shut down uh, an elevator, make sure we open an elevator door or open emergency doors or, uh, or fire station uh, garage doors to make sure uh, that we turn off equipment. We were talking to Senator Hill a moment ago. He says if you're you know, going to an optometrist and they've got a laser in your eye, to turn the laser off uh, before uh, the procedure uh, to make sure uh, that we take care of those that are most in need, to take care of the most acute facilities, be it, you know, an old refinery, a uh, natural gas facility, to make sure we shut off, I peril of saying this, a transmission line in anticipation. I know you'll probably run with that, so I know that I walked into it, but it is one of the benefits of this system that the utilities are connected to this system uh, in an earthquake that could prevent a lot of lives and a lot of property damage uh, from occurring. 